Hello, my friends. It's your boy, Crazy Ricky. I'm here. And we're going to get started with the next episode of Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain. So we're just loading up now. Now, last time we played Heavy Rain, we were running through the subway station trying to escape the police, controlling Madison as she's helping Ethan to escape. The police are aware that Ethan is, in fact, the origami killer. And they're trying to make the arrest. But Madison, for some reason, feels compelled to help Ethan. And she is getting more and more embroiled into this plot. But, here we are now. Ready to help her. Or him. And... We just finished her scenario, so now we'll be starting the next scenario, which is Ethan. So, okay. So here we go. Can't wait to see what happens next. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Oh, look at his hand. <sighs> that fart was crazy gross. She still doesn't food. know. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some She's helping a serial okay. killer. Poor woman. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. If you needed help, I helped you. She's got a nice bum, though. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Oh, I guess she does know. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt? Why are you hurt, Ethan? Hmm. Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. To save my son. Right, Sean. You know that. That matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Stuck in a rock and a, between a rock and a hard place. Please, Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own.
So we're gonna get up. I don't have much time. I've got to find I don't have much time. I've gotta find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. Let's take a look outside. Don't see anything uh, crazy. He's in all sorts of pain. And let's crack the box open. I can't even use his freaking hand. How many do I have left? Two? Yeah, I think so. Two. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Man. Oof. Wow. Willing to go to any resort to save his son. Brad Silver. Name's not ringing a bell. And there is, uh... Oh. There's the FBI agent. Playing a little piano. And your vodka, sir. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. Thanks. You look preoccupied. You look preoccupied. If you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. It just doesn't make sense. But it just doesn't make His sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. So who is? Take my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest wow. fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... That's difficult. It gets, more and more difficult. it gets more and more difficult. Is he talking about the trip time? It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate. That would be most unfortunate, sir. What I want to know is if this is reality or not, or, 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 or a simulation through the sunglasses. I'm assuming it's the latter, but maybe not. Okay, so we're on our uh, in our trusty office here. Let's take a look at the map. So there's a geolocation, nothing new. And let's check out our files. Okay. And let's. Uh, Check out the victims. See if there's any new information. No. 
check it out. There was always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. I'm starting to see sort of shape there. Yeah. Kind of like... Interesting. Like the geolocation of where the people were killed is starting to shape into something for me. And I'm not going to say what yet. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay, and there's nothing geo-analyzed geo here. So that's all the files we have. So let's check our clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Let's watch it. Let's check it out. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time mm. that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Where's the park? It doesn't tell you. These are the tire tracks. The Malibu. No data for geoanalysis. Okay. Origami. Orchids. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Let's break this down. Philip Campbell. The car was stolen. Yeah, the car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Hmm. Jackson Neville. Jackson Neville. AKA Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Okay. So we have a little lead. Oh. Don't take it. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in your own walk. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit. It's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some. No. Go away. We're not doing that. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in right. control and, and do something. We're gonna do it something. Away. We're gonna fight it. Drink some vodka. <laughs> Come on, take it to the hole. Atta boy. Good man. Take another swig. Holy crap. There you go. That's doing something. Man, he does not look right.
Come on, fight it. Watch your face. Watch your face. We're gonna fight this. shower Fought it. Hopefully. So now we are Scott Shelby once again. Now what's interesting is that the son of Mr. Kramer admitted to being the origami killer. Hmm. Hmm. 3.3 inches. Not doing too good here, guys. Sean is slowly being drowned. And there's our partner in crime. Manfred! 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 Anybody home? Typewriters. Interesting. Nothing much changed here. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. I was crazy to let her come up. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating You must son? know something, Kramer. We're going to have to punish him for it. Look at that. It's a nice typewriter, huh? Hell's Manfred. Where is Manfred? Hey. Hi there, Manfred. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. My age, my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, All this right, for break out the champagne. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Let's take a quick gander. No? no, no. Not over here? Oh. You're doing old man oh, a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to we gotta hurry. call back this afternoon. Where's the bloody phone? Sure, no problem. Oh, you got to it just in time. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Scott Shelby going out of his way for everybody. Nice to see Manfred again. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. All right. Let's do this. Well. Damn right. To old friends. Huh.
Is that green label? Come on, you know you want to take another sip. Add a boy, Scotty. Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. It's one of, it's one of my favorite pieces. Sitting over there getting inebriated as hell. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, please? sure. I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's the magnifying glass. That was a little strange. I don't like this old man. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. And no doubt about it, it's a Royal Five. It's an old typewriter. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> you know, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at hmm. one time or another. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Or at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Okay. We've got a nice solid lead here. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Hmm. She's gonna break that stupid thing, watch. name it might be in Manfred's paper. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's gonna be disappointed. Been a while since been a while oh, since no. Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Old man probably dropped dead. Hello? Manfred? Hello? Oh. You call his lock, sir. Whoa. A police car will be there in a few minutes. Whoa. I know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Whoa! <gasps> oh my god! He's dead. Oh, god. 
poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. The fact that I'm sitting here talking to you about this is crazy. Come on. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast. Come on. Hopefully I, I remember. We touched him on the shoulder. I can't, huh? Alright, fair enough. The phone. Come on. magnifying glass I like how he's holding it with one hand doing all the glasses come on we gotta hurry Pretty poor, poor job there. Scott, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I think that's it. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yeah, I think so. I got what I got. Should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Oh, she picked up the stupid phone. Damn it. Damn it. That's gonna be a problem. <sighs> so, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get Son of a gun. In his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Damn it. I'm mad at myself. Should have done better. Well, well. Scott Shelby. Trouble God, again? This guy knows who we are. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old times' sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage you 
tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Hmm, sure. Interesting. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. It's not a game. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. Oh. Stop the fucking car. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wake the hell up. <laughs> well, then what are you doing? You shouldn't get me killed. Hunter in the face. If you're not gonna help me find this bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. Later. Probably better for her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Can I just leave her? Such an idiot. Such an idiot. I better catch up. I guess up I gotta her. go get her, huh? Alright, whatever. I think it, I don't think it's good for her, but... Laura! him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Hmm. Scott Shelby has a heart of gold. Controlling Ethan once again. Oh man. The next trial. We gotta kill somebody. This is gonna be ridiculous. Let's do this. You want. Oh, we gotta hold it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. Look at the goddamn. You wanna score, man? You gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Bolshevik. Stupid motion sensor. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here. You're gonna cost me trouble. Hey, take it you easy. You gotta be ready man. for anything. Uh, keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Go. Money. Tell me what you need. Sure, we can make a deal, huh? Go. 
Boom. Come on. Come on, I Oh. Come. Come. On. Oh, look who's out of ammo. Hold it, man. Look who's out of ammo. I whatever you want. You got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. He's my girl. Oh, man. What a dirt bag. Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see. We gotta do it. Please. Anything to save Sean. Don't shoot. <laughs> oh. But I have no choice. Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Woo. In the gun grip. Good. You only got one letter for that? Damn. It's got regurgitation. My god, he's going under, and the damn rain just keeps falling. I'll get you out of that well, Sean. I'll come save you, and I'll hold you in my arms again, and so never let go. locked off in prison. Well, we killed the father of two girls. Well, we have to save Sean. Now we're playing Madison. Poor woman. Poor woman. Yeah, got a trophy there apparently. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. I'll talk to you later. The bike is ridiculous looking. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. all these detectives? 
got to find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm going to act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. I'm glad I'm aware of it. Seeing as how, you know, I'm controlling what he's doing. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get the trophin. Without a prescription? Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Damn. Turn my freaking head. And I missed that. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Oh boy. So, you're looking for betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. He's a slimy character, this guy is. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? No. Oh. Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not Forget for it. I'm not for sale. I heard, you had some I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Sorry, darling. Those hmm. are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. I wonder what that was for. Looked as though he was a... You're not drinking? No. I am... I am... I am... I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. We gotta get up. Oh, God, yeah. it gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Move fast. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Quick. I gotta find something. I didn't mean to open it that way. Blue Lagoon. Gotta get out of this room. Surgical gowns? Oh no. Why'd he stop performing operations? Reflection. Must no. be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Let's get out of here. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. 
There's enough sleeping pills here so to knock an army. Where the hell is he going? There are all the pills are over here. Playing there, I can't grab a cell phone. Oh, you know, the little ferret. We're gonna oh, no. Oh no, what's gonna happen to Madison? Oh boy. We gotta be ready here for anything. What the hell is that? Ah, yeah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, come on. You're interested in my marble street. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Come on. Maybe that's where he fornicates yeah. with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. Work up a goddamn sweat playing this freaking game. Damn, just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But get off with the chip chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh no. There's that sting of it. No! Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll give you the bar visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Come on. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Hello, sir. I come to bring the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return oh. for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We this humble flock should walk in his steps. Oh, we gotta go very gingerly here. He does not need to battle in these kinds of violence and hatred. Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility. That was pretty slick. Come on. We got this. We got this. Oh, yes. Come on. We got this. Had a girl. Ow. Almost didn't see the symbol there. Oh, nice kick. Oh. 
Oh, I gotta mash it. What? Oh, BS. Ow. Ew. <laughs> what the hell? Did I lose? Is she playing dead? Oh! Barely survived that. But we did it. Now we're the FBI agent. Hopefully that shower helped us out a lot. We don't have to worry about the uh, drugs we be using. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we earned a trophy there. All right. Three point five inches. Only two and a half inches to go. But we're now playing an FBI agent. We look a lot better. We fought it off. We're gonna fight the addiction, damn it. Tuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. Goddamn rain. Soaking wet. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out alright. It'll be fine, buddy. The scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Mad Jack. A.K.A. Jackson Neville. <laughs> This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. We're probably gonna have to fight him. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. Jeez, won't this no, rain ever let up? the game is heavy rain. I won't be coming here on vacation. That's for goddamn sure. Let's go inside the garage. I'm not walking all the way out there. I don't have to. Hey, Cracker! Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Oh, that's uh, our, our man. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. I don't trust this guy. Merry Christmas, indeed. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. 
How do they know it was blue from a tire track? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? What's that? All kinds of fucking. Oh crap! We got a bunch of clues. Size thirteen. Must be Matt Jack size. Not the car I'm looking for. Okay. The game freeze on me. I think the PS3 froze on me. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to restart it. Hold on one sec. I'm kind of uh, surprised by that. Game just kind of hung up on me. Is it on or off? Bear with me one second. I'm trying to figure this mess out. bit strange and I apologize about that but I don't know I just want to get the game ready don't know why the game decided to just hang but it did I don't know though but I'm just getting it prepared and it looks like we're almost ready to go again so Sorry about that. <sighs> Who could the origami killer be? Hopefully we weren't too far off from where we we should be. We're probably gonna have to do this whole scene over again. Yeah, that's what I figured. He didn't look too good, but you know. He's going through some emotional duress right now. Drug addicts will do that. Sort of thing. Oh. But with our help, he should be able to pull through and persevere. Okay, so yeah. Let's put on our shades.
Footprints. Blood. Blood. Hmm. Interesting. Now why is there blood here? Okay. Some other clues. Size 13. Must, Must be Matt Jackson. Jackson's. Size 10. Size Most likely 10. a visitor. This is the car I'm looking for. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? I don't know. Let's keep looking. All kinds of... That's definitely blood. So whatever had happened was over here, and it drained down into the drain. Judging from the path and the flow it appears to, to have. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. Okay. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. There's visitors, there's fingerprints. There's all sorts of goodies over here. And more fingerprints? Yep. All over the place. Gary Cameron. Or traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Interesting. We know what that's associated with, folks. Orchid? What's this? Few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks? No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Killer's car was here. Wow, that was a poor job. More orchid. More fingerprints? Or Mad Jacks. Probably a different car. But we've got to be pretty thorough and check everything. Not the right car either. Mad Jacks. Right on. See if it'll glitch out on us again. 
Nope, not this time. And I can't find any fingerprints for anyone else. <coughs> I'd say we've been pretty thorough. Okay. Not much help this so-called so Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. I'm likely to think that he's got something to hide. Let's keep checking it out. What the hell is this? <laughs> that is a skull. Get ready. Something might go down. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder wow. up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. What are we gonna do? Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <clears throat> I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. But what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in your fucking leg. Excuse my French. Last chance, Jack. <coughs> Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll <coughs> say it was an accident, cause you won't be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco hmm. down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, boy. Shit, not now. <coughs> Anything you say oh, can and will be... Screwed. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Do I really want to try grab it? I guess I have to, right? My goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Dope heads in the FBI now? I just God screwed up really me. bad. <clears throat> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. 
Oh Pretty no. Heavy. Sitting there holding like five million buttons. Oh boy. There goes our nice car. Maybe we can get out of this. Okay, we gotta get out of this. <laughs> Get out of the bloody car. Oh boy. Oh my god, I thought he died. I'm sitting there like, no, how did I die? Come on. You can get out. Jump. Oh. Another fight. Holy crap. Fully. BS, I just did that. Oh, Damn, he's kicking my butt. God, he's a bad dude. BS. Oh, come on. Oh. God, is he gonna sweep flat to me? Oh! Ooh. Come on! Come on! There we go. No, you don't. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, man. Poor guy. Oh, this game is exhausting, man. I'm breaking out all kinds of sweat over here. Playing a damn video game. It's not like I'm out of shape. Well, I am a little out of shape. I'm not going to lie, but come on now. That was tough. I thought for sure he died as soon as the car fell into the damn machine. Oh. Now we're playing Scott Shelby. We escaped that one with the skin of our teeth. I have to say. And we got a new trophy. Alright. But Depion's gonna love me for getting him all these damn trophies on this PS3. Alright. Are they gonna be getting it on? You know, she is a, a lady of the night. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. 
gordy has the time and the means not to mention the fucked up attitude is going with it is only a suspect but he's a pretty guilty looking one are these your files on the case yeah i've been working on them for a couple years i build up a mountain of paperwork magazines about origami you think the killer could have subscribed to one of those if he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years his name may be in there somewhere Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Oh, you don't want to go down with with her there, uh, Scott. You know, she's a lady of the night. I'm sure she's used to all sorts of things. Fifty dollars, no kissing, ten minutes. Let's grab those two eggs. Don't we need, like, a frying pan? Oh, there it is. I didn't even see a hiding behind the plate there. We don't want to make a mess in our kitchen here. Fry up some egg, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep doing this until it looks healthy. Yeah, let's start up again. It looks the same, damn it. I should be ready by now. Okay, I guess the eggs are ready. I'll tell you what, for not a chef, he's pretty damn good. Got the whole slide technique down. Look at that. Although the fork and the knife should be on opposite sides, but oh well. Hey now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. <laughs> Looks better on you. <laughs> oh, you shyster, you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook, What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lord, wait. It's a hell of a long shot. The food's gonna get cold. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. Why not, right? His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're gonna I'm right here next it. to you. <clears throat> What's he looking at? Eyes up here, buddy. <laughs> hey. Now, 30 names isn't that much. Oh, she's got a hit. Oh, 500 names for the subscriber list. Look at her. Oh, man, he's about to knock it down. 
Look at him. Eyes of the tiger. The only guy whose name was on both oh. lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. Commander Shepard did it? Someone. Commander Shepard is the origami killer? You never give up, do you? No way. Commander Shepard saved the world from Reapers. No. Oh, I'm about to say this damn PS3 is freezing up. What are you? What are you doing, woman? This girl knows her mind. All right. <laughs> this girl knows her mind, all right. No point in trying to reason with her. Commander Shepard. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I hate cemeteries. Tell me about it. I depress the hell out of them. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name it's is cold. John Shepard. It's raining. You wouldn't I'm standing know where it is by any chance. So, the children's grave oh, how I the love next my job. Lot. Thanks. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out okay. of here. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our freaking time in this freaking cemetery. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined... Hello, Idea 11. How's it going? Paula Cook. Roy Smith. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy. The dead don't mind. Take it easy. The dead don't mind. Fair enough. Children plot. What's this plot here? I don't know where it's at. Did you find it? Elaine Sanchez. Andrea Green, Dorothy Parker, Jacqueline Robert. Ralph Rivera, Shirley Wright, Theodore Brown. Jerry Henry. What the hell? This is a children's spot. Sherry Coleman. What she found it. What are you gonna dig, dig up the grave? Flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Who's that old lady? Orchid. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Huh. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Hmm. Yeah, go for nothing, Hoodlins. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it. You lousy, no good brats. Come back when you fucking... Mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we oh, spend a day are... outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Nice come on, play. let's go play. Yeah, come on, let's play. Let's 
can't catch me! Now we're controlling this kid. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. What you doing? You're coming on Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. We're chasing after John. I think who's the other kid. John is waiting to give me a boost. I better catch up. Okay. That boy. I'll help him out. Okay, so we made it up top here. There's all kinds of construction site. Oh, that's very dangerous. Oh, what's up with the cursing, kid? Punk. Where did he go? Up the stairs. Jeez, you're in nothing but a. Jeez, you're in nothing but a, a slowpoke. Come on, loser. The construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. John is going too fast. He never waits what for me. What you doing? I'm trying to not. figure out how the hell to get up there. Move your ass! I'm waiting! like American Gladiators type thing over here. Which way did he go? I think he went down here. It's not a painful. Oh, monkey. You don't need to do this. It's too hard for you. No chance. I can do it all right. Just you watch. Oh, 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 oh. I'd be tired as hell after this. Oh my goodness. John, wait for me! Get a blue ball! Okay, here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm 
I'm sitting here holding the controller straight as an arrow. I like that guts pose he did. Come on, it's your turn. Yeah. Oh, BS. Stupid motion sensing crap. Jeez. Oh man, it's more more mobile than Ezio Auditore. All kinds of buttons being held here. P.S. I have it on film that I'm doing this crap correctly. Lay some skin on me, scat cat. Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm not gonna sit here and cheat. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Kid has no thoughts, huh? Well, I have no idea where it is. Christ, that's John's voice. Oh my goodness. John! My foot. My oh foot no. Stuck. Grab him! I'll put it over there. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. any help. Yeah. His brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Hmm. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? 
<laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually oh, like Scotty. Scotty. There's you nothing sound like else you're becoming here. smitten, my friend. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordon's father? What's he doing here? John Shepard's grave. John Shepard's grave. What is going on in this game? What is going on in this game? Now we're Madison. Madison just escaped a crazy doctor. And now let's see what's in store for her. She should be on her way to the Blue Lagoon. Which was also mentioned by Mad Jack to the FBI agent. So let's uh, keep an eye out. Four point two one six inches. Look at that. Yeah, look at all the fist pumping. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. Hey! The rented the doc's apartment on Somebody looks pretty good when she's all gone. Better be careful. It might be the killer. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Doctor Death, I gotta dance. Step. Yeah, I'm dancing. Paco oh. Mendez, the guy the doc rented his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. I have nothing against techno trance whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Play school for the jet set. Not really my kind of thing. Bartender. Sounds like a plan. Where I can find Paco. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Bartender. Okay. I where I can find Paco. Everything's gonna be all right. I find the guy. I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. That's about to do. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Wow, look at that guy. Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez has asked not to be disturbed. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look around. Did she go dance? Oh no, I thought she was gonna go dance on this side. Guy says anything to us. Papa seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. All right. So she's just got to be sexy in a kind of dumb way. Hey, Genie K22, how's it going? Yo. It's pretty bumping club. Well, we know where Paco is at. <clears throat> now we got to find a way to get past his body. Looks kind of like Lemmy from Motorhead. I like how she's trying to reach through the crowd. That's pretty cool. Let's a little touch like that. Upsell the game.
Sorry, lady. Invited guests only. So what do I have to do? I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find someplace to change. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I'm gonna have to think of something else. It's up these stairs here. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff nearby. Hey. Strut your stuff. Well, I do want to change. See if she's got a more uh, a better outfit there. Fair enough. Oops. Kind of digging the music here. I'm not gonna lie. Trying to find some spot to change clothes so I can, uh, you know, sell the dumb, sexy look better, as she so eloquently put it. Get out of my way, people. Guess I can't buy, get by this guy. bathrooms over there. I was looking all over for these bathrooms. And they're right by where this guy needs is. Let's get through the dance floor. That guy is real serious. How the hell am I supposed to change? I don't have any clothes to change, do I? Time to play the sexy girl. Time to play the sexy girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, who wears short shorts? <clears throat> Got some junk in the trunk. Uh, no, I'm not done. Still got another bloody eye to do. I don't know how women do this. I've only dressed in drag a couple times and I had to have a woman do it for me because I couldn't bring bear to bring the pencil so close to my eye. Mess up my hair. There you go. Not really much different, but hey, whatever. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on now. Put on that lipstick. I have to say, she doesn't look too bad. What the hell is she? Gun. 
Oh. Okay, I see how it is. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking pretty good now. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Definitely got that swagger. I can tell you that much. <clears throat> Time to bust out some... It'll never work. Paco will never fall for it. Mind you, a guy who wears a jacket like that Damn is right. capable of anything. Now, lover boy, let's see if you can resist this. Okay, it's showtime for scumbag Paco. He's definitely going to notice me this confident. time. Feels like the whole place is watching me. And I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. Yeah, you got your booms hanging out there and... Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. Oh. Is she applying something? I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. Hey, alright. So she wants to get her dance on. And luckily... Oh, we're climbing up on the stage too, huh? Dance. It's like I'm playing a, a, a DDR type game. Look at him. Torque it! Torque it! Yeah, she's definitely got a nice butt. I can tell you that. Hey you! Hey you! I was gonna say you better grab your purse, lady. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. <laughs> oh man, look at his accent. He sounds like Rico Rodriguez. <laughs> Paco. My name's Paco. His name is Rico. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. I like the way you move, Marisa. You're making me all hot under the collar. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Moving real fast. Everything is gonna be all right. I have a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. Just following him to his office. This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give way. Just follow him to his office. This guy is oh. truly a whole thing. My kind of man. He's already butt-ass naked. Watch. I go in. I make him talk to the gun. And I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything is going to be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. So, welcome to my little king. This tank. Look at that tank. I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good things, which is. He's got a samurai sword on his wall. You see that? So, show me what you can do. Oh, man. You know, slowly. Take it all off. Uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Wow. Let's get okay. away. Come on. Do your Do thing, your thing, girl. girl. Uh, could, 
Could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I'll talk down. Now, show me what show you can do. Gonna do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Let's, look, uh, I, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. <clears throat> it's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. What is this girl doing? Like, she has no business doing... putting herself through this situation. Hey! Is she, is she going commando? Oh. Think of something. There's got to be some way out of here. Do what it takes, Ned. Play Dance for time. Up. Mad and patient. The lamp. The lamp. If only I you know how to do it. Grab it. Oh, I oh, know. Yes. This game is hilarious. That I saw that coming. Bloop. Baby sweet cakes. Boom! <laughs> Grab the gun. That's what I call kicking the butt. You go girl. Except I didn't I didn't fall and bust my ass. Okay, Leon. act two. Let's hear lover boy sing. Damn. Ah! If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? What you want? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you! What? You haven't got the balls. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything alright? Value those prized balls of yours, Paco. Then it's time for you to talk. Oh, oh, oh. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ow! Never set foot in that apartment. He's the some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? What was that guy's name? I don't know. I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ow. Ah, ah. Oh my god, I'm running out of fingers here. Oh. Ah. Shepard. Maybe John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment. But I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. It's time to bounce. 
Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. Time to get out of here. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> John Shepard. Commander John, John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. How about that? You didn't do We're still not out of the frying Did pan. You hey, let's take it back on my bike. There we go. And I'm going to call it there, guys. I think that's a good spot to call it. I think it's been about two hours. So. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great 4th of July. Uh, it's your boy, Crazy Ricky, signing off. Hold on one second. So I hope everyone's 4th of July is wonderful. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. It's your boy Crazy Ricky signing out. Everybody peace out.